how to add a custom liquid section in Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add your own custom liquid in Shopify. Now, I think on the Don theme, you have a default option to add a custom liquid. However, with some updates, this might not be available on every theme that you might be using. And if a custom liquid is something that you don't have access to, I'll be showing you guys exactly how you can create your own custom liquid. So to display a simple example to you guys, let's go into our Dawn theme. And if I open up the editor for Shopify, so in my Shopify store editor, I can go ahead and load up the home page. And in my homepage, I will have the ability to create a custom liquid. You can do that by clicking on new section on the left. And if I scroll down, I have the option to add a custom liquid. However, this is not applicable to every theme on Shopify. So if I open up the spotlight theme, I'm not sure if this has it yet or not, but you guys can see we can click on add section. Okay, so this does also have a custom liquid. However, if you cannot find a custom liquid, I'll show you guys exactly how to add custom liquid. To do that, you're just going to go on to the current theme of your Shopify store. And once you go on to the current theme, click on these three dots and you can keep a duplicated version. In case you make any mistakes, you can revert back to that original version. After that, you're gonna click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, this will open up the Shopify theme editor. So you guys will see on the left, there are a bunch of different folders. If you close them up, this is what it's going to look like. Now of these folders, you're going to open up the sections folder. And once you open up the sections folder, you're going to click on add new section. Then you're going to create a dot liquid section. So you want to keep it selected as liquid. And you're just going to make this custom section dot liquid or custom dot liquid and then click on done. Okay, because I've already added this, I'll have to create a separate name. So I'll name this as custom liquid section dot liquid. And then I'll just click on done over here. Now this will create a new section within the sections folder and this will have some default code. Now with this default code, you're going to remove it because you're not going to need this code at all. And you're going to have a blank file. Once you have your blank file, you're going to go on to this custom liquid section code. You can find this on Pastebin and I will also leave a link to this particular code in the description box down below. So you can go check that out. We're going to copy this code and here is where I see a lot of people making some tiny mistakes that end up making their code useless. And that is to ensure that when you're copying this code, you copy everything. So I see a lot of people, they end up doing this and they don't realize they're not copying the first bracket or they copy like this and they don't copy the last bracket. So it's really important to copy everything so you have to ensure that you're copying everything from start to finish then you're going to go back into shopify and you are going to press command v or do a right click and paste that code once you do that you're going to click on save on the top right now that you have clicked on save on the top right you're going to click on exit and then you're going to click on customize on your shopify store and now we can add our custom liquid section. So if I click on add section, you will see another option for a custom liquid because I've already added this previously in the files as well. And you can really create this anywhere if I go on to my default product and I can click on add section, scroll down and I have my custom liquid option. Now with custom liquids, you can really add anything onto your store. So if you want, you can build a custom liquid with ChatGPT or a lot of AI models will allow you to write some liquid code. I am going to go into ChatGPT. You guys can see this is the ChatGPT code and I can just paste that in. Once I paste that in, you guys will see this is what it looks like. 
you can add this custom liquid wherever you want obviously this is just a really basic you know this is a really basic liquid code you definitely can create something a bit more interesting you guys can see that we can also include this in our css files to make it a bit stylized so if i want i can do that as well like so and i'll just cut this out and we have this version of buy as well so let's say i want to make a large size version and make it in a blue color and you can really use chat gpt to write a lot of basic codes for you now you guys can see we have a 48 pixel font and you can customize this on your own if you just read into the liquid code it's not really that hard over here so you guys can see now we have this and we have some top padding bottom padding and this is what our section looks like now if i want to add a little bit of space you guys can see that there is no direct way to alter the space but add some space to the left side and i'm just going to include that and you guys can see there is a updated version of the code which is now going to add a margin on the left so now i'm just going to remove this liquid code and we can add this one over here i'll just cut it together cut it all together and then add that over here and this is what it looks like so we have a margin on the left for 20 pixels if i add this to 60 pixels it's a bit larger i think i'm gonna go with 100 pixels over here it's still pretty marginal so i'll go with 600 pixels yeah this is a bit too much i think 500 slightly less so let's just go with 400 pixels yeah this looks perfect so now i have this cute little buy custom liquid you definitely can make this a whole lot interesting you can add videos you can add gifs and much much more with these custom liquid sections within shopify so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video